This is YSM Sports Media. I want to thank you for all your love and support. Really appreciate it. We wouldn't be able to do this without you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and click the notification button for all future content. I saw a video. Uh, I think the guy's name is Goodfellas Sports TV. And he was talking about Al Heyman keeping Gary Russell from signing with top rank, signing with uh, the zone. And that you know Gary was stuck in a contract, and that if Gary tried to leave, that Al Heyman would basically ruin his career. Now this is completely false, and I'm not sure if the the kid is misinformed, or you know he has an agenda. I don't I don't know him, so I'm not going to speak bad about him. But uh, false narratives like this are dangerous because it skews the view of that fans have of a promotional company a management outfit and so on and so forth so um this is a podcast that my man uh the boxing source did with uh gary russell so i'm gonna let gary tell you about his promotional situation now why if there's nobody at 130 that you want to fight i ain't nobody that i want at 130. i ain't nobody i want at 130. I mean, show uh, who who at third. I only person who I wanted to whoever, who, whoever man, I wanted who? to fight at. I I want. I don't mind. Fuck man, look. I've been trying to fight Santa Cruz for I don't know how long. I've been trying to fight Santa Cruz for I don't know how long. He ain't trying to fight, or somebody don't want them want him to fight. I don't know, but I ain't got time to be playing that these people play with my food. I'm gonna go eat anyway. You know what I'm saying? I planned on moving. I'm planning on moving up anyway. You know what I'm saying? Tank, what's up? Shorty, you want to work? We can work. We can bump. You know what I'm saying? Devin Haney, what's up? We can bump. We going to say something, talking about something. You only 140, 143 soaking wet. I told him, hey, look, I told him, look, all I got to be is 135 for the commissioner to say the fight to go. I don't care about what I ain't You worried about some other shit. <laughs> You focus on some other shit. I'm trying to bump. Yo, I'm trying to bump. It, it, it bothers me that you got to give up five, six inches in order to get a fight, like a big fight. That bothers me, yo. I mean, it is what it is, brother. You got to play with the cards. That's dope, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, my, my, uh, my man used to hit me with this one. He was like, what's the difference between the reason and the excuse? You know what I'm saying? I never could really think of one. I just, feel, I just said, fuck it, I ain't going to make no excuses. I'm going to just get it done either way. So if I got to get these dudes an advantage to get a fight, then cool. What's up? What's up? You know what I'm saying? And then, I'm not, I'm not, and then, and then the thing is, it's not like I'm not, I'm not bonded. A lot of these dudes, they locked in and tied in and all that. I'm a complete free agent. You know what I'm saying? I can I'm not locked in with no manager, no promoter, no network, no none of that. I can move freely. Wow, hey, man. I mean, we have a good business relationship, but I'm not signed with Al. We have a good working relationship. We have a good working relationship, but I'm not signed with Al. Hey. Were, were you signed I'm at not, one point? I was signed at one point. I was signed at one point, and our contract ended. I was signed at one point, our contract ended, and we never reestablished the contract. We always had a great business relationship. We always had a good business relationship, you know, so we continue to do business with one another, but I'm not signed for Al Heyman. There you go. Straight from the horse's mouth. He's not signed to Al Heyman. He can move freely. He can sign with any network, any promoter that he wants. Right? I, I'm noticing something nowadays where, like, guys are either pro- a network pro promoter advisor or anti it's like let's just sit back and enjoy the sport let's enjoy the sport we're we're fans of boxing and if you're going to report on boxing if you if you want to try to give these fans uh a little inside information you got to make sure your stuff is correct you got to like you're responsible for what you put out and you know there's been times where i've been wrong so i like to you know now properly vet my sources because i don't want to be out here looking stupid but yeah that that that's gary's situation
So you let me know in the comments below who do you want to see Gary fight next? Because I'm definitely looking forward to seeing him get back in the ring. Hopefully, somebody from 126 and 130 will step up, man. YSM Sports Media, we out.